Hello, Lisa G here. This week for my blog, I am going to do a vlog or a video blog. Uh, I will be the first to tell you I am not the best writer. It is not my strongest suit. And for a blog aspect, I often like just doing some videos. So I'm gonna kind of mix it up. Some weeks I'll have content and recipes and some weeks a uh, video blog, which is this week. And I thought what better topic to do for my first blog than what do I eat? As a nutritionist, dietitian for over 13 years, this is probably one of the number one questions. Everybody, everybody wants to know, what do you eat? So I'm pretty basic. I am not um, too fancy smancy of a chef or cook. I kind of call myself a basic cook, which is what my forthcoming cookbook is going to focus on is basic yet delicious but easy recipes to prepare. So when it comes to breakfast, I do one of three things. I will do a shake in the morning. I will do a bar of some sort, whether homemade or bought in. And I will do all kinds of types of eggs, whether it be hard boiled, scrambled, you name it. Eggs are king in our household. So one of those options for breakfast. And then I often have tea or coffee. So depending on if I'm really kind of dragging butt, I will have coffee in the morning, but I do limit myself to about two cups. Um, I'm dealing with some adrenal issues, so it's not good for me to do too much caffeine. Uh, and I also love variety of, a variety of teas. One that I like making right now that's actually an iced tea is this Rishi Tropical Crimson. It is so stinking good. So I'm kind of hooked on this stuff right now, along with lots of water, of course, too. Uh, moving on to lunch, it'll be some type of salad. So leafy greens with a bunch of vegetables and some type of protein. So whether it's chicken or turkey, or I like to add nuts and seeds also onto the salad, um, that might be an option for lunch or I'm a huge fan of leftovers. So some people don't really like leftovers. I totally get it. I do, because I don't have to do anything. I just have to warm them up. Uh, we're huge um, advocates of cook once, eat twice. So if I'm making dinner, I'll plan ahead and kind of think about how much extra do I need to take out and we make it all at once and we have leftovers the next day. The third thing I'll do for lunch, if I'm not digging a salad and there's no leftovers to eat, um, and I'm not really very motivated. <laughs> I will grab some wild albacore tuna. I like this wild planet brand Pop open the can of tuna drain it put a little mayo in there whip it up mix it up and um, Take a pepper a red pepper a green pepper I cut it in slices and I use that to scoop up my tuna So that's something I do as well when it comes to snacks I do a lot of different vegetables and I think the thing with vegetables is you know, oh, they're boring, who wants a vegetable for a snack? But I think we get burnt out on the same types of vegetables. So I'm really focused on always bringing a new vegetable in to be the vegetable snack of the week. So let's just say one week it's tomatoes, and the next week it's cucumbers, and the next week it's carrots, and the next week it's snap peas, and so on. So you have some repertoire and you're not having the same type of vegetables all the time, because that can get boring. Um, or I also like to have nuts. I'm a fan of cashews. Um, I like almonds as well. Um, these are some soap nuts that I have. I find that if I soak the nuts, I digest them a lot better. If I have unsoaked nuts, they kind of act like a little pit in my stomach and um, get me bloated. So if I'm on my A game, I'm soaking my nuts. Then moving on to dinner, pretty simple again. It's some type of meat or seafood and two vegetables. So the vegetables are the star of the meal with at least half my plate being vegetables and then the serving of the protein with it. So again, a wide variety of vegetables. I love Brussels sprouts, they're my favorite vegetable. Uh, we do green beans, we'll do asparagus, uh, cauliflower, broccoli, variety of cabbages, you name it. That's what's on the menu for dinner time. And then for nighttime, I try to really watch my snacking at nighttime. And um, I would say six out of seven nights a week, my little treat is some dark chocolate. So yes, I am a chocolateaholic. I have a little, uh, you know, maybe two by two inch, I don't know, square of dark chocolate most nights of the week. And that's it. That's what you have. So that's what I'm eating these days. So I will continue to share more and more with you recipes and more tips and tricks on how to make an exceptional living simplified right up your alley.